guys welcome back to crafting princesses today I'm gonna do a little craft space tour I have had some people ask me through my Facebook and Instagram page which if you're not following make sure you do so um, they've just been curious they've seen my craft space in the background of either pictures or one of the videos that I've done on here already so they were just curious about my craft space so I'm just gonna show you guys what that looks like um, this is actually just a part of my dining room area that I've turned into a craft area. As you can see, it's not a full functioning craft room. Hopefully one day I will have that. That is a goal of mine. So maybe through here you guys can keep up with my progress and maybe in about a year or so I might have a room of my own. Until then, this actually works perfect and maybe it will give you guys some ideas for your own craft space at home. Let's start here. So this right here is actually a changing table from Ikea. And since my son has grown out of it, I now just use it to store anything that I don't need um, while I'm crafting. So up here, I have just a file organizer for anything related to my business itself. Everything goes in there. That green storage bin right there holds fabric, crochet tops, and any extra tool that's no longer on a spool. I just fold it and put it in there. Here on this middle shelf, I have two long storage bins and that's actually what holds my tool, the tool that I have on the rolls. And it's really easy and convenient. I actually have it organized by shade. So in this box, it has my yellows, my pinks, orange, gold, and red. And then in the second box, has greens, purples, black, brown, and more of the darker colors. And those storage bins I actually got at Walmart, I believe. They're just Sterilite bins. And they're only about five bucks each. So it's perfect. At the bottom, I have my shipping, um, shipping supplies. So anytime I have to ship an order that was placed through Etsy, or for a non-local customer, I just get the shipping boxes from um, United States Postal Service, they're free. So if you go on their website, you can order like 10 at a time, I think it is. And I use some small flat rate boxes for little hair accessories like hair bows. And then I use the larger boxes for dresses and larger tutus. If you guys would like a tutorial on how I ship those items, let me know and I'll make a separate video for that. Then over here, this desk was actually given to me by a friend of mine. I believe it was also from Ikea, but she never used it. So I took over and I love it. So where do we start? Um, up here, I am a firm believer that your craft space should reflect your personality and your style. This helps with inspiration when you're creating a piece. And it just, it's pretty to look at. So for me, I find that it's an easier space to work in if it looks nice. Over here is actually a bow bouquet that I made um, that I haven't really promoted to sell simply because I like looking at it. <laughs> um, over here, this little hashtag with the gold sequins, I actually got at Target in their dollar area, but it was three bucks. This right here, I made myself for my daughter Maya, um, but she it fell off the walls, so we just put it up there for now. And I might actually keep it there, so who knows. Um, while crafting, my hands tend to get a little dry, so I do keep lotion up here for that. Those are some different ribbons and elastics, and I just like the color combo of it, so I just keep it up there. Over here, I have different um, utensil type items organized separately. So all of my Sharpies, highlighters, and paint markers go in that little black pencil holder there. The larger turquoise holder has different scissors, pens, hole puncher, and then I have a mason jar back here which has all of my paint brushes. I also have some different books that I use um, for different reasons. So I do like to design. I have a book on that, 
have a book on The Savvy Crafter's Guide to Success by Sandra McCall. It is amazing. I highly recommend that. Um, actually, is it Sandra McCall? I don't know. Don't quote me on that. It might be a different author. And then down here, I have my business cards, which you guys know, I do make videos on how to make all of these things, but you can also order from me. So if you wanted more information on that, just follow my Facebook page, which I've linked in multiple videos, and I will also link it here. Um, <laughs> I am totally obsessed with EOS lipstick or um, chapstick balls. So I have these pretty much everywhere, even in my bathroom. Uh, let's see, down here I just got my Mod Podge glue. These are some headband toppers that I've made. I just need to add them to the elastic. And then my thread that I use for all of my hair bows. Down here, I bought these little clear jars at the Dollar Tree. And I just hold like glue sticks, different, um, like my E6000 glue in there. And then I have another one with um, bottle caps. This is actually just an empty box that I thought fit well, so I put that in there. Over here, I have my sewing machine, and this desk is actually awesome because as you can see here, there's a hole. So I don't have any cords that are sticking out or on top of the actual desk. The presser foot, I just put that down on the floor whenever I'm using the sewing machine itself. And then here's one of the coolest parts of the desk. It's actually magnetic. So I have all of my magnets back here. I also have my dry erase markers, which have um, little erasers on top of them, which is pretty cool. And those are magnetic as well. Got those at Target. And then these little tins are so cute. These are magnetic also. And I got these at Michael's. And they were in the dollar area. I think they were actually a dollar. And in here I store my hair clips. And the other one I have safety pins. And that just sticks up there. I also have my tutu size chart on hand. Um, that way all of my tutus are made the same. Okay, beware, it's messy. Here is a drawer of a bunch of different things, mostly anything paper related. And this little envelope here, I do keep bottle cap images and my epoxy stickers, my measuring tape, etc. Here, I keep all of my rhinestones and anything shipping related. So that's tape, thank you cards, plastic baggies, um, stuff like that. And then down here is a cabinet and I keep a pretty big clear jar there of all things elastic, whether that's crochet or the fold over elastic. And then I have two Sterilite boxes of things that I use often. So I have a box with my shabby chic roses up there. And then down there I have felt, which I use quite a bit. Over here is a adult mannequin that I got at Hobby Lobby. I think it was about $53 or so. And I actually use it to store any hair bows that I'm either going to sell or haven't promoted to sell yet, but just was inspired and made some offhand. And then I'll just hang little headbands right there on top. So it's cute. I think it kind of completes my entire craft space. And then outside of here in another area of the house is where I have other Sterilite boxes which store my ribbon, and everything else craft related. Is if you guys really want to see how much stuff I have <laughs> uh, for crafting, let me know. That can be a separate video because there's just too much to tell you. I pretty much have taken over three separate cabinets in the house just for craft supplies and a walk-in closet. So that can give you an idea on that. Hope you guys liked it. Like I said, I'm hoping that in the future I will have an entire craft room for this sort of thing. So stay tuned and I hope that I've inspired you guys a little bit for your own craft space. Have a good day.